Philippine International Film Festival, or known as La Fil. And to start with, we'll have the opening remarks by Abe Vantama, the chairman of La Fil. Um, I want to thank everybody who uh, made it on time. Uh, I know some of you came in at 5 o'clock. I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, thank you for coming. And um, this year is going to be a really amazing year because this is our second year and we're surviving. So uh, I just want to say that uh, I want to thank um, all the press people that uh, were invited and all of the majority of the selection committee are here right now because we're going to talk about what kind of movie we're having uh, showing in the LAFIP 2017. So uh, I just want to introduce uh, the people that started this craziness. So um, starting from my left side, uh, Faith, Faith Combs, that's one of the founder. Um, Josh Andwood. Um, Gabe, uh, who is busy right now. And of course, uh, our very big supporter, uh, our marketing director, Aswini May. One thing. Without her, uh, you won't have these flyers right now in there. So uh, I want to thank Southby Pavilion for is for hitting these things because uh, they are a big supporter of us and also I want to uh, welcome Asi, our um, guy that will take your money. So. <laughs> 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 They're very good last year. <laughs> uh, Lou, uh, just uh, join us, one of our media uh, coordinator, press people, and all like that. Joe, Yoko William, thank you for coming. Ren, Arieta. Um, Ed uh, Santos, which is uh, very instrumental uh, as a blogger and a member of the Creative uh, Talent Network. And Adele, right? Ordinario. Ordinario. Yeah. Tony, <laughs> Tony uh, Garcia. Garcia. Um, Catherine, uh, thank you for coming. And uh, my uh, co board member of uh, Philip Creative, uh, of Philip Chamber of Commerce, Tri County. Uh, Mr. Peterson, Stanley Murder, I was taking my picture a lot, so, <laughs> in Hollywood. <laughs> and uh, Raymond Lee. No, no. No. <laughs> How can you think about Raymond? <laughs> uh, Joe Tianza, and for Joe, Gabe, and uh, so uh, I'm going to give this uh, uh, thing to so, uh, ja Mr. Josh will start rolling it and uh, show you what we have. Okay, before we announce the, the films for this year, uh, I will introduce first, or I'll pass the microphone to Faye, and she will tell you, or introduce to you the selection committee for this year. So in the event that you don't like the film, these are the people who <laughs> are responsible, uh, put their time, effort, and uh, evaluating all the films that were submitted and these are their choices but before we announce them officially I'll give you faith. Well, good evening everybody. Um, we actually have a very good uh, set of films, uh, largely very serious films and among the selection committee members who I'm going to call on Edwin Santos. Edwin is a, he is a full-time actor been acting since 1998. He's very active in film and creative. He sets up an uh, actor's panel and does uh, op ed for that creative. Next, we have uh, Raymond Lowe. Raymond is a movie critic and it has a column for a Philippine star. We have Joe Atienza. Joe has been doing film archives for 11 years in, in the Philippines. Right now, she's currently a video operations for Disney Interactive. And she's also active with uh, Sophia, one of the founders, which is a, a society of film archivists. And we're missing um, Marie Amora. Marie is a 
movie director, editor, and producer from Manila. She's best known for Noawala, which premiered at Slam Dance. She's also a programmer of a Slam Dance Film Festival, and I think recently she has a, a new film. And we are also missing Oliver Carney. Oliver is a movie critic and a talent agent in Los Angeles. Those are our uh, selection to many members. Okay, so technically those are the people who would be responsible for this list. Hey, let's do this. These are the 10 features for 2017 La Fifth in competition. Number one, Birdshot. Number two, well, I'm, it's not in any order. Area. Three is invisible. Four, sakaling hindi makarating. Five, seclusion. Six, laot. Seven, obsceners and saints. Eight, dancing. Nine, EJK, or extrajudicial killing. Ten, the sun behind you. I think everybody got this package. Uh, right? Every, oh, I will send that to you online as well. Yeah. And then if you don't have, we'll, we'll give you a copy. It has a, oh, let me just show you. It has the poster or the postcard that they have and then the synopsis of, of the films, okay? Like, okay, like before we go to the shorts, Let's go with the features first. Birdshot. This is directed by Mikael Red. A running time is 1 hour and 56 minutes. It's technically a drama, mystery, thriller, and it's coming from the Philippines. And next one is Area. Area is a very controversial film. And this area is, is directed by Louis Ignacio and it runs one hour and 50 minutes, and it's drama. And it's coming from the Philippines, and it stars I, I De Las Alas, Alan Dizon, and Sue Prado. Okay. The next one is Invisible. Invisible is directed by Lawrence Fajardo, and it runs two hours and 12 minutes, drama. Again, this entry is from the Philippines, and it stars Alan Dyson, Alan Dyson, Cesc Quez Quesada, and Bernardo Bernardo. Okay, the next one, number four, is Sakali Makarating, a film by Ice and Aidana. It's one hour and 30 minutes. It's, it's drama, romance, again from the Philippines. It stars Alessandra De Rossi, Therese Malvar, Pepe Herrera. And then number five, Number five is Seclusion. It's directed by Eric Mati. It's horror. And it's from the Philippines. It stars uh, Neil Ryan Sese, Ronnie Alonte. And then number six, Laut. Laut is directed by Louis Ignacio. One hour and 23 minutes, drama from the Philippines. Stars Barbie Fortesa, Ronaldo Martin, Felixia Kristen Dizon. Gabby Garcia, Jack Roberto, okay? Now, number seven is Obsceners and Saints. And it's directed by Ruben Maria Sorriquez. It's one hour and 43 minutes, and it's drama and a thriller. From the Philippines as well. Okay. And then, Dagsin. Dagsin is it's a directed by Atom Magdadia, 1 hour and 59 minutes drama from the Philippines. And it starts uh, at Tommy Abuel, Lot Lot De Leon, Benjamin Alves, Janine Gutierrez, Marita Sobel, Alex Diaz. Okay. And then, it's very controversial thing. This one is EJK. EJK yeah. or Extra Judicial Killing, directed by Ronaldo Sa Rolando Rolando Sanchez, one hour and thirty nine minutes drama from the Philippines. 
And then the last one for the feature is the sun behind you or in Tagalog, araw sa likod ko or sa likod mo. And this is directed by Dominic Carlo Nuesa. One hour and 30 minutes, drama, war, action. Philippines. And it starts Ping Medina, Bong Cabrera, Mike Liwa. Okay, so out of the 100, these are the top 10 chosen by the selection committee. Now, let's go for the shorts. Number one, in no particular order, support. <laughs> well, it is support. S U P O T. Support. Sequence. Number two. Diliman. Diliman is Diliman. Not the U P Diliman. Scenes of Wasteland. Instaland. Six is Last Farewell. Seven is Relief. Eight is N O V I S. Novice. Nine is Back to One. And ten is Chapter X or Cabinata X. For short film, yeah, short films. Okay, it's the first one on the list is Support, directed by Phil Giordano. No, it's support. Support. No, he talks about circumcision. Oh, okay. I read it. I, I honestly read it because at first I, I said super. No, it, it's. It's, it's, oh, a, it's a big, it's a boy who refused the ritual circumcision. Oh, that's yeah. it. So, yeah. so it's, <laughs> it's 13 minutes and it's from the Philippines. It stars John Arcelia, Mercedes Cabral, and Andre Pajarito. So, I was right. <laughs> so you can call it Supo. <laughs> Sequence. Okay, the series. Directed by Dale Fabregar. 14 minutes, 45 seconds. It's a comedy musical from the USA. Okay. Okay, next one is Diliman or Diliman. Okay. It's directed by PJ Colanto. 13 minutes, 50 seconds drama from Denmark. Wow. Denmark? Yes, Denmark, the country. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, uh, the next one is Sins of the Wasteland. Okay, here's the, the poster of the postcard. Directed by Paul Halili. Short drama thriller. 21 minutes, USA. Next is Instaland. Instaland is from Team Cruise, it's a comedy, it's drama, science fiction, fantasy adventure. It's from the USA, it's 15 minutes. Short. Okay. Next one is, next is Last Farewell. It is directed by Jones Ramirez, it's eight minutes, drama, romance, action, history, from the Philippines. Okay. Seven is Relief, directed by Desiree, female director, Desiree Castro, 15 minutes, and it's a short drama, again from the uh, from the United States, USA. Okay, next one, number eight, N-O-V-I-S, or Novis, and you'll understand if you watch the film. It's directed by Arthur Roger Harley Maradan, 23 minutes, and it's a drama science fiction from the Philippines. Okay, nine, back to one, right here. And it's comedy directed by Romel Andaya, six minutes, USA. Okay, and the last on the list for shorts, Cabanata X, or in English, Chapter X. Directed by Roms Ramirez, 9 minutes, 50 seconds, drama from the Philippines again. Now, we already gave you the features, the 10 features, and the 10 um, shorts. Now, I'll mention to you the three documentaries. And they are, okay, for the documentaries, uh, they are one, the Apology. Second is Do You Remember the Philippines? 
And third, we will never play in Manila again. So these are documentary. I think most of you remember that. Okay, for apology, the apology is directed by Tiffany Hoshwin. One hour and 44 minutes. It's from Canada. Okay. Next one, do you remember Philippines? It is one hour and 22 minutes. And it's from Spain. Oh, really? Yes, Spain, the country again. <laughs> Barcelona. And the last one on the list for the documentary, as we will never play in Manila again. We will never and play in Manila you, again. It's about the Beatles. Never. And it's directed by Siegfried Barrio Sanchez, 47 minutes, it's from the Philippines. Okay? It's a very controversial that Beatles went there and they were thrown out of the hotel. It's that documentary during the Barrio's mission. Okay. And those are the 10 features, 10 shorts, and three documentaries that the selection committee uh, decided, selected, put time, effort, evaluated, that will be the, the offering for the 2017 LAPIF. So let's put our hands together and give them a big For the hard work that the selection committee and you know who they are. Okay? Get their numbers. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to have a little message word from our very dear partner. Uh, South Bay Pavilion, and it's Sweeney Bay, Montinola. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, South Bay Pavilion um, is the best mall in the city of Carson. And um, we're very happy that we're doing this again for the second time. And we have more chances to correct any of, you know, you know missteps that we had last year of promoting this and we have more time this year to promote it as well. South Bay Pavilion loves our shoppers and we know that a lot of our shoppers are Filipino and Filipino American. And as a matter of fact, when Cinemark opened in 2015, um, we immediately requested that they play Filipino movies and they have. Uh, they have almost all the time, unless there's way too many American films that they have to show us feature. But, um, they regularly play Filipino movies there, and uh, the general manager there, his name is uh, Michael Sayers, he's working to get some Filipino snacks in there. So we're hoping by October that he'll get some chicharron in there, and other snacks too. <clears throat> and also, uh, South Bay Pavilion is really happy and really glad that this um, is going on. When Cinemark opened, I immediately, um, I immediately asked a few f friends of mine that are in the Chamber of Commerce, like Tita Fe, for instance, and I mentioned that it would be great to have, you know, a film fest here with Filipino movies um, and films, and, and gladly she knew people, and people, you know, they know people to make this happen, and that's how I met Abe and Gabe and Josh and everyone else. So again, South Bay Pavilion is very happy to help in making this an event, uh, an annual event and even bigger every year. So hopefully one day we can have a whole week, right? Eh? A whole week and more than one theater too. So um, we have goals and we thank you for being here to help us spread the word. Um, for those who are watching us live, thank you for watching us and also sharing this, if you can share this video live right now, so we can get as many people as possible, not just Filipino and Filipino Americans, but those that appreciate the art that goes into filmmaking. So thank you. Thank you, Sweeney. Uh, Abe, you want to introduce the Yes. Um, also, one of our uh, board member uh, want to introduce uh, Laura, uh, Dr. Laura Bofa. She's an actress. You don't know that, but uh, she's an AD, but an actress also. <laughs> also, I want to introduce uh, Winston Imana, one of our uh, uh, one of our uh, people that are. 
that I asked uh, consultation a lot of time because with his experience, uh, he's been to all the film festivals in the world. So uh, that knowledge, you, know, you can't really duplicate it. So uh, Winston, thank you for all your consultation. And uh, there's some people here who's good. Um, Miss... Uh, no, no um, Miss Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. Uh, thank you for coming. One of our uh, best photographers in LA. And Mr. Paras. How you doing? Pinas uh, Magazine. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Lou, 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 our co member of uh, Chamber of Commerce. Uh, thank you for coming. I uh, hope uh, did I miss this. Yes, Kim. Oh, uh, Ed. Mr. Ed Lavesti, my partner in Kison City. Um, we go around in uh, Kison City. <laughs> Thank you for coming. You came all the way from Burbank, so uh, that's quite a drive. Uh, who else? Israel. Israel. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, yes, um, you know, we, we I, I have this in mind about 16 years ago. Uh, having a film festival that uh, everybody say yes, but nobody will really want to do it. So I'm crazy enough to ask some friends to, uh, be, uh, to start this one. So I got uh, Faye, Joss, uh, me and Gabe, and uh, some other people that uh, we started this. Uh, and we did it. Um, we don't know where we're going to go, but it, it did happen. So uh, now this is the second year and we have a lot of dreams about it and like uh, Swim said, hoping, hoping next year will be five days and more than uh, one year. So uh, the more um, we're able to tell our Kababayan all over the world what we're doing because uh, to, to be honest with you, um, you know, we're bringing the movie in Hollywood. So uh, it is something that a lot of Filipinos want to be uh, in Hollywood. And in fact, there will be a lot of uh, producers, directors, and even uh, actors in, in the movies that will be coming. And they already asked me to uh, you know, send them a letter to invite them. And of course, we have the blazing, uh, blazing uh, of uh, the Philippine consulate. So um, the, their own board last year was kind of hard because of the just the election that just happened, so we don't know what's going to happen, but this year we're on board. And FDCP, I don't know if you heard about it, uh, Film Development Council of the, uh, the Philippines, uh, they're really supporting uh, Philippine Diaspora uh, movie. And uh, we're happy that also last year, um, our, our promise that we will invite uh, distributors, uh, international distributors of film. And one movie that was in our uh, festival was uh, picked up by uh, distributors, so uh, we're not promising that they're gonna be uh, pick up or any movie, but we will invite people to watch this movie. Either they're gonna come or not, uh, that's a different story. We will invite them. So um, um, we still have some shorts that um, far from the film um, creative uh, group. Okay, Faye will talk to you about what will be expected from October 26 to 29 for the program. Yeah, uh, so uh, we will kick off the festival on October 26 with uh, a bunch of uh, films from Film Creative. Film Creative is uh, Film Creative is the premier Filipino American creative organization. And they promote um, culturally integrated and diverse entertainment in the industry. It's an all-volunteer organization dedicated to the advancement of Filipino Americans in the entertainment and media. Film Creative is a group of filmmakers, writers, artists, actors, photographers, musicians, comedians, lawyers, and producers. Its core values are to unify, educate, create, and elevate. You can contact them by their email address, philamcreative at gmail.com. So members of the Philam Creative made films. Uh, there are seven minute films, and they are, all those films, shorts, will be the opening night. So they will be uh, shown on October 26th. 
Uh, I think uh, we're gonna some, we're gonna be doing something different this year because there there's panel that uh, panel discussion, and I think Gabe or Sunny will talk about it. Yeah, or Edwin, can we ask you to come over and, and, and explain what will what will happen for this panel? No, sir. Um, uh, this year, uh, unlike last year, we will have three panels. One devoted to uh, actors, the uh, second one will be devoted to filmmakers, and the third will be devoted to screenwriters. So each of those panels will have like maybe two or three guest panelists um, from here in Los Angeles and some from the Philippines. So it'll be like a mixed bag of, of professionals from both the Philippines and the U.S. Uh, to answer your questions and to talk and discuss the subjects at hand. Uh, so generally speaking, for the actors panel, it would be basically about um, from about how to be a working actor, period. That will be discussed. Um, for filmmakers, it will be about uh, being a creative artist versus, versus a business producer. And how you can go about such as between one or two or combined. That's another discussion. And for the writers, of the uh, discussion about writing for film, basically. So we're starting out basic, general. We'll get more specific later when we get when we go forward in the next few years. But uh, that's it. Um, for the actors panel, we have so far one confirmed guest panelist, and it's uh, Cassie Gregor, Billy Damoda, who's uh, confirmed for the actors panel. Uh, there'll be uh, other guest panelists coming up, but they'll be announced. Just check back on the Facebook page. You'll see announcements as we go along. Thank you. All right. We also want to announce that uh, www.chillhound.com, that's spelled C-H-I-L-L-H-O-U-N-D.com, is who's powering our ticket sales. So uh, is that up and ready? Uh, it's good. Once we get the movies uploaded. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, once we get the movies uploaded, uh, it will, we will be ready for ticket sales. Again, that's chillhound.com. Um, that's Ossie. He's uh, the founder, uh, CEO. Of, uh, he did a uh, good job last year. Uh, he gave us more money than we needed. Right? <laughs> so I don't know he did that. <laughs> so, um, Okay, um, again, it's save the date, it's October 26th to the 29th, and it's the second annual LAPIF, or Los Angeles Philippine International Film Festival, and it would be at the South Bay Pavilion Cinemark Theater. Go ahead. Um, I just wanted to add something about the panel discussions. It will be on Saturdays, uh, wait, Sa Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 12 to 1.30. PM. So it'll be the same time every day, and um, like Edwin had mentioned, it'll, it'll focus on different um, uh, industries. So it'll be really good for students and film students and whatnot, or whoever's aspiring writers or directors to attend our panel. And this is the first time we're doing a panel. Last year we didn't get a chance to to um, coordinate it, but thanks to Edwin this year that we are able to put that together. So we are adding an educational value to this year's LAPIF. Okay, and then just to let you guys know, we're gonna have a another get-together, uh, but this time it's during the opening night where we have a buffet uh, dinner for you guys after the films. Out South Bay Pavilion. Everybody will be invited to record it off. Are we gonna have wine, right? The, the place? Yeah. We're allowed, right? Um, we'll have to we're, we're working on <laughs> Okay, and those people who came in late, please partake of the food. There's a lot of food. Uh, make sure also that you sign in and put your business card in the uh, thing in there. So uh, we have uh, four uh, wine in here and we'll be uh, raffled there on. So make sure you have your name and a business card on it. Okay, and then uh, before we go to Q&A, we're gonna talk about I think the last topic will be the awards. What are we expecting or what awards are we giving out? And Gabe? 
You want to talk about it, Gabe? Yeah. Hey, hey, your dad will talk about it. Words. Um, just like uh, last year, but this year we're more prepared. We're actually going to give the certificate in the middle. Uh, we just announced this last year, and uh, after a four months, we give the certificate, so we're not going to do it this year. It will be right there. We're going to give it to them ESAP. So uh, we're going to have uh, best picture for uh, feature film and best picture for short. And then there will be a best actor for each category of feature and short, and best actress, and um, best director, right? Something like that. Um, yeah, we'll be a best director. And then audience award. The audience award uh, will be tallied after the last movie. So, um, of course, the audience has to uh, select uh, what's, uh, which movie they like better for the people that watch it. And um, uh, I, I guess that's the only thing I could think about, so. Okay, for the audience award, meaning after each screening, there'll be a ballot given to the people who watch it, and then it will be collected right after the screening of the particular film, and then it will be given to our ushers, then the ushers will, will give it to the committee for uh, tabulation and will do percentage. And all results of the awards will be open within three days after the festival. So it's, it's gonna be uh, for public uh, uh, review if you want. Um, again, for our uh, media and press, uh, for the people that are uh, working on it, make sure you hashtag LAPIF. Uh, L A P I F F or LAPIF 2017. And of course, our website is uh, www.lapif.org. Remember that. That word. O R G. L A P I F F dot I A R G. Or org. And our Facebook. Is uh, Facebook that uh, com slash Lapif? <laughs> Lapif. You guys American guys in there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now uh, the last thing that we'd like to share with everybody: uh, the sponsorship. If anybody who is interested of sponsoring the event, uh, we're open for any uh, sponsorship. And then what? If you bring a sponsor to us it would be 20% incentive for you guys. And our sponsorship package is actually found on the website at lapif.org. Um, and uh, you can uh, share, it's in the slide share format, so you can just share it with anyone who you think can potentially be, or wanna be a part of this film festival. Uh, we do have a sign in for marketing people, so uh, Sweeney, in fact, Sweeney is in charge of marketing. So uh, contact her or contact me or whatever, but I, I prefer that you contact her, okay? So uh, I don't have to work too much. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I have some uh, in here. We, we, do, we have this in the, we have this in the, in the site, so. Uh, Except for uh, Again, 20% uh, commission, it's not bad. And uh, we don't charge you taxes right now, so it's okay. Okay, before you guys go home later tonight, make sure you stop by at that table, um, South Bay Pavilion. They prepared some goodies for you. It's a, it's a tote bag with some items in there. What a tote bag and water bottle. Water bottle. Okay, courtesy of South Bay Pavilion. Woo! Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, I think we're we're open for question and answer. Anybody? Okay. Yeah, what's the total of uh, entries uh, this year and how many uh, foreign countries uh, participated and who are they? Uh, we are more kind of uh, with the mistake that we had last year. Uh, we opened it up and we did, uh, people didn't really 
uh, to read the instruction, and of course it was free uh, to get in, so we have about 6,000 submissions last year. So this year we were specific, and we told them, we're gonna charge you uh, five bucks. So people didn't like that. So, uh, <laughs> five bucks. <laughs> so we only have a few submissions. And it's okay, because now they start reading the instructions. Before, they were uh, sending us about 10 submissions for people and all of that, and we have uh, countries like Timbuktu or something like submitted. And so um, it was uh, it was hard uh, for me and Gabe to just delete, delete, delete. So this year we didn't delete that much, but we do still have some people that wanted to contribute five bucks. So uh, we came out with that uh, number. So. Uh, you know, it's a lot better and we're specific that we want uh, Filipino stories, Filipino stories, so that's the reason we want to have some from Denmark or somewhere else. But the stories are not Filipinos. So from 6,000 to... How much? How much so? Oh, 500. 500. 500. 500. Really? Yes. Because of that uh, $5? Yes. But Piano. No, not Filipinos. You know, they want a free ticket. It's only 500. That's still a lot. 500 is still a lot. Yeah. Still it's tough. It's so in the next year we're gonna charge more. You can just imagine you have a one, yeah. How many? Of, let's say a ninety-minute film, and um, I think there are forty, right? It's forty features. So I mean, you're gonna watch each and every film. So like, I don't know, like Joe, Joe at the end said she didn't go to work and started <laughs> finishing the whole thing. I mean, you know, because that's how dedicated they are. And it's hard. How, what is? How long is the submission process? Like when do it's, we? It ended like June. Uh, we started May first to June thirty first. Six days. Uh, actually, we're still looking for special uh, screening, so uh, we haven't talked about that yet. Uh, it depends on uh, how much uh, space that we have because we only have a few hours to uh, to shoot these things. But if we have some more, then we might ask some. Uh, you know, movies that uh, they can sh send it to us. Question? Go ahead, Peter. Hey, it sounds like you have some great movies uh, like Birdshot and Loud, and some of these some of these talent and uh, filmmakers. Are you are any planning or have you talked about any of them attending yes. the event? You know, and, and actually having an actual uh, red carpet. So I'm I'm sure Birdshot director is, is going to be here because he already has. And it's because that is also his movie is showing in San Francisco. So she, uh, she keep bugging me, are we in, are we in? Says, I'm not sure, man, I'm not the solution. But uh, he was so happy that when he knows that, uh, you know, Birdshot is going to be here. Um, I don't want to campaign anything, but uh, Birdshot is in the movie. <laughs> Bernie, anybody remember BB? Bernardo, Bernardo? Yeah. 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 He got his ticket there. And uh, I know the uh, director, producer of uh, uh, Central Center, is that what it is? Uh, he got his ticket somewhere. So. Uh, only quite a few people are um, going to be here. It's more than also uh, AJK, uh, director, is going to be here also. And uh, I think Mon Confiado was the lead actor on uh, AJK, is going to be here also. We got, we got more uh, people that are coming. And of course, FDCP uh, promised that as soon as they find out uh, our lineup, I want to turn it to them and they will talk to them if they need some help in their transportation. That's what Lisa Gino Segura told me. So uh, I can't afford to pay the tickets. So. <laughs> Other questions? Lydia. Uh, opening night, 26, and the film creatives will show the shorts, like Lolo Pepe. Yes. And no, no, it's, no, it's a brand new... Brand new selection? Brand new selection. Oh, so, so how many of those for the opening uh, night? We don't know that in 90 minutes? We don't, we don't know. We don't know yet. Yes. They, yeah, they have to select their own uh, movies to, to be... So they have later. And, they and have then have we will also show... How many of the yes. so the shorts that we mentioned? Yeah, they're the ones that are in competition. Yeah. On the opening night, it's like a special screening, 
that we have coordinated with Philam Creative. Mm -hmm. So let's say they made like 17 films. So they will, each film is supposed to be seven minutes only. Mm -hmm. So then they will, they have their own selection committee. So they screen and because it's an opening night, they really want to be sure that they're good films. So then they will be the one to select it and we get it and then we're going to show it. So it's really a special screening night for film creators. So none then, of the other features yeah, and media, short I think I'll show. answer that for you. Oh. Those shorts yeah. will be tied up with a feature. Yeah, Meaning yeah. if we're showing, say, Laon, no yeah. then we will have a short prior to the screening of the feature. Oh, oh. So it will be like in tandem. Okay. But you only pay for one price ticket. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, Adele. Uh, Lydia, you have a question? Yeah, okay. Follow up? Okay. Uh, let's do Adele first. Um, Adele. On the first showing, the first night, um, what are the hours for the screening time? Screening time on the 26th. Uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, 5 o'clock if you're leaving the World Bank. The four days? <laughs> or different times? Different times? Uh, at 6 to actually, but we want people to be there about 6. But like I said, if you live in Bornback, maybe you leave about 4 or uh, 3 o'clock in, so, in the morning. So, <laughs> to answer your question, Thursday night, we start late, like around 6. Uh, but the other days, we have like around 8 or 9. Friday, Saturday, Sunday will be all day. But on Thursday night, we start just in the evening for the opening night. Yeah, thank you. It's just going to be a short for the film creative. Uh, it, it really, I, I, I wanted to do this when I found about film creative because uh, technically uh, being an actor uh, in Hollywood is so hard to get, uh, uh, you know, being uh, a movie or just being uh, audi giving audition or something like that. So. We know that the uh, film creative really need help. All uh, film like us, actors, need help. So we have to showcase what we have here. Uh, they're, they're all films that from uh, uh, from LA, uh, working hard uh, guys that want to get in. So I give them a chance. Uh, if you guys can, can create something, and actually it was the idea of Mr. Winston Emanuel to have a new film. Uh, so aside from the 30 movies that we already showed before. So we're still showing that in a different uh, thing, but uh, Mr. Imani is so smart, so he told the film theater. So make sure you make another movies. So uh, thank you, sir, uh, Sir Imani, for uh, suggesting uh, that information. Any question, Joe? During the opening, are we expecting uh, some uh, well-known stars? Uh, Josh, <laughs> your friend? <laughs> we don't want to promise, but we'll definitely make an announcement. I, I think, um, you know, to be honest with you, we are creating branding Lapeth, and uh, a lot of people in Manila already knows who we are. And uh, by uh, being a neighbor of Hollywood, uh, do you want to come uh, to LA? Uh, the only thing is that I don't promise them that I can pay for their effort. That's the reason why when I talk to FDCP, so uh, give us the name of the, you know, that they're, they're in, and uh, they'll talk to us, and maybe we can provide them with their transportation, even a place to stay. Uh, they'll pay for that. Uh, if you heard about you, uh, about entertainment or uh, Philippine uh, cinema, they made a lot of money in the PPP or Pistons Filipino, uh, so they have a money to send people to uh, outside the Philippines um, to pay for the way. That's the whole idea is to, uh, Philippine market is too small. If you don't go out, uh, you know, if you make 30,000 or 30 million or 40 million, that's max out. And that's only one million um, you know, dollars. So in order for them to really tap the, the global thing, they have to come out and produce movies that really good movies too, in order for the other countries to watch us like uh, the biggest markets in the United States. Okay, any other question? Uh, just follow up, uh, what about uh, Hollywood's, uh, some films in Hollywood? Like uh, Stanley's uh, film? Yes, Stan. Yes, Dan. Maybe you can invite some of those. Celebrity friend, 
It's bitter. Pressure. You want to say something? You're, 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 you're on Facebook Live. <laughs> <Yeah. Pressure. laughs> Um, um, I know she, uh, Stan is very shy, she just wants to take pictures. But he can uh, try. <laughs> you want to try, Stan? <laughs> you don't want me to talk anymore. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Oh, um, there's a question earlier. When is the award night? Um, probably, like we did last year, maybe Sunday. Sunday. Saturday. We did Sunday. Saturday. Saturday. Last year. So okay, it's yeah, Saturday. <laughs> I, I guess we have to discuss that. Last year we did it on a Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. yeah. So everybody could watch it on a Sunday. Most likely we'll do it again this year. Okay. okay. Uh, so, but you, as to all the movies plus all the other parties and networking that will be um, available and the panel discussions. And then the VIP has access to just the movies. Yeah. 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 And then, of course, if you want to purchase just per movie, it'll be ten dollars per movie. What's in the packets? Sorry. What What's in the packets? So the, the all access gives you access to all the networking parties and the movies and the panel discussion. The uh, the VIP gives you access only to all the movies. So those are the difference. And then, if you want to buy your ticket per movie, it's ten dollars per ticket. Yeah, but how much is that the whole package? Aside from $15 uh, the ticket, right? So if you give that, so yeah, you want the VIP so selection. So all access is $150. Uh, and VIP ticket is $75. And then your and then the next one down is per ticket is $10 per ticket. So, so general, general admission, $10. Okay. Sweetie, is there a discount for students and uh, uh, seniors? Yeah, $8. So it'll be like $2 off for seniors and students. So you have to show with disability. And, or no, veterans. Veterans. Yeah. With ID. So with student ID and uh, with, with your license, driver license, because you guys don't, you know, we never look the age we are, right? So uh, you have to prove that you are that old <laughs> and what, or that mature. What, what is the age for mature? Is it 60 or 55? <laughs> Because um, ARP is 50. You guys tell me. I'm, I'm way below. I'm not sure. That is upset. 55. 55, oh, there right? Uh, and other the others, it starts at 62. 62? Yeah, because I get the Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. That answers the question. 62 and above will get the $2 discount. So it will be $8 instead of 10 Okay. Yeah. Oh, you have I, a question? Um, I have a question about programming. Like, what is the most family-friendly film that's in your lineup? And what is likely the most X-rated or racy film in your lineup? <laughs> X-rated? Right. Well, the most <laughs> racy film, honestly, that I've seen, because uh, I'm not the selection committee, is Area. Air it, Area. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it talks it about uh, <laughs> prostitution. In a, it, it's a place in Pampanga. But so the language is really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But you should check out really Seclusion. If you're from Horror, Seclusion got six awards I saw at the film. MMFF. It's a very good film, but if you're not, you know, want to get really scared, watch Seclusion. But it's good in editing, production design, direction, and a lot more. It's, the actors are not well known. But the film is really well made. How much dairy mother thing? Again, this is just our opinion. We are not the selection committee, so you know what we are saying is our own opinion. Um, don't watch that film alone. <laughs> Seriously. No. Uh, yeah. I I personally did not finish this. Seriously. All, all the movies are really good. Um, you know, if you uh, one of Martin and uh, really, <laughs> really want to. Uh, we have good movies because of all the, the uh, submission that we have. We have selection that you know uh, our uh, selection committee is very good in selecting movies. So um, I, I wish we could uh, show more, but uh, with uh, 
not having any money <laughs> to pay the video. We're just like uh, I said, uh, we need uh, vendors and sponsors uh, to continue these things because uh, my credit card is getting full. So. <laughs> and then this year, uh, to close, this year we, we even received some entries after we closed the submission deadline. So unfortunately, we cannot change the rules. There's some films that got in really late and they're really good films. But again, uh, part of the rule, uh, we cannot accept anymore. So if you would see if maybe, if, we, if programming would be able to accommodate, it will be part of a special screening, but not in competition. So maybe for next year, we'll make an early, early announcement right after the festival, so at least they could submit it in time. Uh, yes, and I really, you know, because we are United States, I really encourage uh, film filmmakers. This year we didn't have any. We have it, uh, that we might want to look at for a special screening, one of them. Uh, last year we have three, I think, as film. It was made here in the United States, but this year nobody turned anything, so uh, it's, it's kind of sad. But again, uh, that's the reason why, uh, luckily, we have shorts that we're uh, showing in the beginning uh, to accommodate our, our film filmmakers. And of course the 13, uh, uh, 13 movies that we already showed before, it was uh, sold out in the first one hour in uh, Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles Asian Pacific International, International Film Festival or Ticada International. So uh, support all this film and continue uh, supporting us and uh, hopefully all of you guys that when you see our blog you copy and paste and forward it to your friends um, because uh, we're uh, we're having a good name now that we are, can say that uh, our festival is one of the things that you have to turn in your movies. Okay, I think the last question we have will be for the selection committee. Uh, what was the criteria you used to select the 10 features and the 10 shorts? So I'll give you guys uh, the microphone. We'll start with Joe. <laughs> Put you on the spot, huh? <laughs> so criteria for me is all the films, and uh, since I've been watching a lot of movies from before, <laughs> uh, I I suppose I could discern the good film from the bad film. So not saying that it's it's not subjective, but well, of course, you have the usual, you know, direction, cinematography, production design, editing. But more than that, uh, I put more weight on, on the way the story is told, what the filmmaker wants to say, and how it is, uh, it is told. So for me, uh, even if the story may be kind of thin, but if it is told well, and we're clearly able to get what what the filmmaker wants to say, and uh, and also uh, if it's not too heavy-handed, then it gets a plus point for me. So yeah, that's that's how I that's how I um, evaluate the, the films, and also uh, timeliness and relevance. Joe, was it the same uh, criteria used for shorts as well? Yes, same thing. Yeah. Okay. Right, But Joe got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, um, first, it was relevance, because we're, we're having this Filipino film festival, so it has to speak about the Philippines, the culture that we have in the Philippines from before and right now. So that was my main, uh, that was what I was looking for initially. And then after that, it has to be engaging. The film has to be engaging because it's a festival and you are showing like, um, I don't know, 30 films, 10 features and uh, three documentaries and shorts. So it has to be engaging. You have to engage the audience to stay with you the whole day for three days to watch movies after that because I do that. I can watch like 30 movies in a week. So that's what I wanted to select. And then, of course, it has to be very, very well made because when I don't like a film, I don't like a film. So. It has to be above what is good. It has to be very, very good. So the selection that we have 
and they're proud of it. It's really good. There are some excellent films there. I cannot say what they are because we still have to select the winner later, but yeah, they're very good. Thanks, Raymond. Thank How about Edwin? Um, I agree with everything they both said. Uh, for me, uh, you have to forgive me. This is the first time I've seen the Filipino films from the Philippines. So I already had like a, a different assumed mindset of what to expect. But when I saw all these films, I was impressed by them. Even the ones that I chose. Uh, and the ones that, and my criteria for those, for, for the ones I selected were based on, I was looking for themes of, of progressiveness, of uh, films that, that were afraid to talk about controversial subjects. Um, Sometimes, you know, whatever, whatever the reasons, I mean, if I say it right now, but um, yeah, for me it's just controversial, controversial subjects, Progressive um, um, expressions, um, story. I agree with you. Uh, if, if films, I mean, I understand filmmakers, even young filmmakers, who do not have the technology to make good films, production-wise, technically, and all that stuff. And I totally understand that. But we are a film festival that's looking for very good-looking films presented in a way that is top-notch and what have you. So um, we chose what we chose, and you'll, you'll agree with me. You'll agree with us that the films that we chose, that you will see uh, on October 26th to 29th. So, you know, you, you'll understand. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it for me. Thanks, Edwin. Do you have a question for the selection committee? Because we have three more, but they're not here. I have one more. Uh, last question for, for Joe. This regards about the awards. Uh, I'm just wondering uh, what categories or how do you categorize, aside from the usual, you know, best film, best actor, and everything. Then, uh, uh, do you have the special judges for, for every category? You want me to answer that? Yes, good. Okay, the, for the awards, yes. it's the same people who chose the film. It's the election committee. Okay. Uh, there's six of them who will be making that decision. The founding members are like us. We have no say on it. We know a special being, award. I mean, no special judges for a, a specific uh, film. Or, no. Or, Not or, yet, okay. maybe okay. next year. Yeah, okay. Except for the audience. Except for the audience award. Okay. Any other question? Question? Uh, Winston. Uh, this is for the uh, the organizers. I'm curious, what, what is your biggest hurdle this second year versus your first year? And how did you overcome it? We haven't overcome it. <laughs> we still need money. <laughs> Uh, the selection, because we have, uh, you know, um, I guess through the years, I was able to make a network with a lot of filmmakers, uh, producers, directors. So uh, I don't have any problem with that. Uh, I know I'm going to get that. My biggest obstacle or challenge is really how am I going to pay who are going to be the video. And I think it's always a problem with anybody that want to organize things. It's always that way. Um, I, I get a lot of people that comes to the movies because uh, there's so many, uh, you know, um, live production that's happening in LA. And they all come from the Philippines. And they're willing to pay $150 per show. But when it comes to a movie, you, you charge them like 10 bucks. So, what about Fendi again? <laughs> so that's that's always a challenge, but uh, having a passion of doing this, uh, showing a Filipino film, Filipino story, it's one question that I always tell everybody, whoever I mean, is that what would happen to the world without Filipinos? It is something that we really have to show the world who we are. 
And what, what's the biggest, uh, the biggest medium to do that? It, it's film. We have to shoot in a, in a film. So my challenge is that to all the business people that want to do business in the United States, uh, especially Filipino products and corporations, please help us to do this. I'm not here to make money, to be honest with you. I lose a lot of money on time. Because this is not a one-time deal. It's a whole year deal. As soon as we finish the film festival in October, we're going to start again the following year. So I kept telling everybody I won't do this next year. But I always do it anyway. Uh, it's, it, it's, a, it's a feeling for helping out uh, the Filipino actors in the United States, uh, like uh, Dr. Ola, you know, and Ed, who we are. And it's always, uh, I don't want to lecture you. <laughs> so uh, please help us. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, before I give it to Pei, I think the best lesson learned from last year was we started late last year. We're not as prepared because it's our first. It, there's a learning curve. Uh, things that we used to do or we did not do last year, we are more prepared this year. Even the, the films that, that we have is a lot better. Even the submissions. It's more timely. So things that we learned or um, errors that we made last year, and then we incorporated some people and hired some people or engaged some people to help us out this year, as opposed to the four of us or the five of us last year uh, doing the whole thing. And now I think the best way to say it is we started early this year. And everything was right on the money, right on the deadline. The only two challenges that we have, like what he said, was the sponsorship. If we get more sponsors, this year would be great. And also spread the word. Because the hardship that we have, I think, people who would have done events, the hardship of any event is the sponsor will not come if there's no people watching, even for concert that I've done. Comes up, sponsors will come simply because it's a full house. But if it's not a full house, if you cannot guarantee that there will be people watching it, it means that they cannot watch the product, they cannot uh, engage them to a conversation, then you lose that sponsor. We have a lot of big sponsors, but they always ask us, can you guarantee a full house? And we cannot guarantee a full house until everybody here in this, in this room, if you could spread the word and support this, because this is really not about Gay, me, or anybody else. It's about us. Because I think we have so much to offer. And I think our films, uh, with the help of you know, Winston, Peter, and everyone else here, I think we're getting the, the recognition that finally, finally, and you know, just segue, we are recognized now by the Academy by getting the two directors in, in, in there. So this is a good start. These are baby steps. But I think we need your help and your support not only on the sponsors, but spread the word. If you cannot give us sponsors, that's okay. We will find those, but give, spread the word that there is a film festival happening in October. These are great films, uh, award-winning films, and if you could bring your friends, it's 10 bucks, eight bucks, if, you know, whatever. And, you know, if, if we have a full house, I think our third year will be a, a, a walk in the park because we have sponsors willing to give us a lot of money, but they want a guarantee of a full house, which we cannot give. That's it, for me. Yeah, it's, uh, I think, I think, I think it's hard to educate the Filipino community, because like in Manila, they tend to look at films like, who is in it? Is it, you know, that star, phenomenal star as against an independent film uh, whose actors you don't know. And you're gonna watch it because of the story. So the thing that we're gonna do this year is we're gonna reach out to the students and the youth because they're part of, and the colleges to help us and, and be involved with us. Secondly, we got um, the venue on a smaller scale. So we got an 85-seater as against 200 last year because we found out that, you know, it's really tough to market it to the community because, you know, 
these are immigrants from the Philippines, and as we know, you know, you have the thinking that oh, if if Sarah Hironimo is not there, I'm not gonna watch it, but the story is good. So even that, and and that's the same thing. Not only in the Filipino community, you know, it's, it's also in the in the in Hollywood. You have to push for your independent films because people will you know will not go there if like. Leo DiCaprio is not there, so why would I watch it? So, it, so again, you have to really educate. Go to the film schools, right. go to the colleges, and tell them the story is good. Why will you watch EJK? Because it reveals what's happening in Manila. It's from an actual thing that's happening in Manila. Thousands of people are being killed because they were suspected uh, having drugs. And that's the kind of films that we want to portray, realistic. Any other question? Any other question? Okay. Uh, this so. is a follow-up uh, question about the awards. Because, uh, uh, during the uh, uh, awards night, do they have to be present to receive the awards? It would be nice, just like last year. That's some, of them, some of them uh, who were nominated, they were present, but they didn't win. Uh, but if they are not there, a representative will, will definitely receive them. Or, like what happened last year, some of the awardees were, I mean, being the first, of course, it's, we're still making our name and our niche uh, in, in the industry. So, uh, Abe was in Manila, I was in Manila, and we ended up awarding them at one of the events night of Ambassador's Night, of uh, who's who, of all the films that won internationally, and it was a, a event that was uh, sponsored by Lisa Segera, and it was a big social event, and everybody who won, not only the films for the Lapif, but all the organization and all the award giving body internationally, they were all there to receive an award, and we were able to give them to them personally as well. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and, and uh, to go back to Winston, the challenge also last year is we didn't have the certificate to give them right there and then. This year, not only we're giving a certificate, we have medal. a medal for them. Not a school medal, a big medal. Like <laughs> Olympic medal. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, every year, there's, uh, sorry, sorry, we're, we're getting, and who knows, third, fourth, fifth year, maybe we'll have cash incentives. Yeah, uh, Never mind. But we need your help. You bring the people, we'll do the rest. Yes, please. I know we mentioned earlier there was uh, zero Filipino-American feature film selected, which is kind of odd considering this is a Filipino-American birth festival. But I know that it's not a phenomenon that's unique to you. There were zero Filipino-American features at the LA Asian Film Festival. So I'm curious uh, as to why you think that is. Um. <laughs> It, it, it's really, uh, I think with, uh, with the group of Philip Creative uh, Talent Network right now, we'll be able to come up with a uh, film next year. But um, this year, I don't, I don't know what happened, why the, I know there were two films that was in post-production, but, uh, and, and, and invited them, but they weren't able to finish it. So they need more money. To, to finish the post-production. So that's what happened. And uh, we do have uh, a movie that we want to show, but it's an old movie. Uh, but I was thinking about maybe we can show that uh, special screening now. So uh, really with the new group of the Film Up Creative uh, next year and showing the shorts as an opening for this year, then we will be able to encourage the, the film or Filipino American filmmakers to, to make one. And um, hopefully that will, again, it, it's encouragement that people are gonna watch it and nothing like that. The, the main thing, I, I think we have people that can do that. We have the actors, producers, and all like that. It's still, again, it's the money uh, to make it. It, it is so, and, and that's not only with the Filipinos, it's all, True to you know the the, the film industry uh, making it uh, how many uh, pitch that you have to do to get the money 
And again, if it, you don't have, uh, and I was born in Hawaii. I speak Lokana, Cebuano, Tagalog, and I'm more Filipino than anything else. So um, it, it's just a global thing. We, we really have to support each other.